This is our world. Kutsai, Talak, Bazat, Source, Loret, Yen, the Earth. Walk away from the mundane. Look up, look in. Explore the province of space. The drum, the drum, the heart is the It's the meter stick by which all be gauged. Everybody will be judged by the drum, you know? We're going on a journey to see the universe. Are there borders? Let's explore the gazette. The province of land, air, and mind. Space, the universe. Really? So it's not really come teach now, not no, no, it's to, it's to reawaken Dam and see. The beginning of time. The beginning of space. Do you have the courage to explore and know? We're on a journey home. There's only one way to find out. The apparent edge of space. Only a hundred kilometers up. Just an hour's drive. On Earth, life continues. People do what they do. Everyday life. But there's more. More to see, more to know. We'll have to leave all this behind. Got to send rhythmically. To venture into the darkness. The beautiful darkness. Let's go. Not too far from home. Onto the moon. Jurassic. Last night, lots of community people came, different parents and children came and um, built it. We're going to do it again on Sunday. And I'm very interested to hear, by the way, my name's Astamari. I'm Astamari. And I'm very interested to hear briefly how you found the journey. How do you think about, what do you think about our planetarium and what do you think about what you've seen? Yes. I, I like the lot because there's loads of different colours. And most people think there are only seven planets, but it shows there are far more. Um, I like all the facts that they tell us. Okay, good, good, good. Yes? Um, I like how you actually made it like it was a piece of wood, but it's actually a rocket ship. I like how you made it. But the, this, the gun? Yeah. Yes. It, look, it looks just like a normal gun, but it's actually a rocket ship. Mm. Yes, yes, I see what you mean. Mm. This has been our, our community pop-up planetarium at uh, Mastamari. Our organisation is abundant, so I hope that uh, we can come to your school sometime. We do a lot of workshops around the drum. The drumming to teach math and science, and even to teach how to travel. We have a rhythm we call Journey Around the Sun, which is a drumming pattern related to binaries. Uh, also teaching mastery dance. So hopefully we'll see you soon. 
And uh, yeah, uh, we're planning to use it again and again. But it's fun. It's fun making it. It would be very good to bring it to the school and put it up together so you yeah, see how it goes. Yeah. It takes time, but so it's how fun. How do we go about getting you to come here to our school? Um, take one of our prospectus on the outside. There's, there's some things to think outside the box. That, that guide is our guide. And it's got some things about the workshops that we do in schools. And I'm here, I'm based in the centre. So yeah, yeah, please, any time we can talk. Uh, we're doing actually another workshop on Sunday, uh, Physics of African Warrior Dance. So it's a very interesting workshop. The physics of warrior dance and then the planetarium on that day. And I, I, it will be different because what I've played you today is basically the original narration. But what we did yesterday was an edited narration. We took the narration out. It wasn't, it wasn't him speaking. It was um, more atmospheric and just more reasoning about the, the, the facts without so much of the, let's say, uh, mythology around it. There's a lot of mythology around that um, relating to Greek culture. And that's, you know, science is, is steeped in that. But there are other traditions. There are other traditions in the world about naming, for example, the sun in Ethiopia is called Sahai. So there, there are names for all the planets. There are different traditions, different ideas and stories for how things come together and how things work. So we touched on some of that yesterday and we'll do that again on Sunday. And we can, we can come to visit you all and do it more properly inside this space. Yeah. Sounds great. Well, do you like it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Do, would you like to see it again? Would you like to, more? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Well, we'd like to do more. The thing about this dome, we're obviously we're traveling in space, uh, the idea of outer space, but we could just as easily go inside the body and be traveling <coughs> in a biological sense through the body. And this is all science we can do inside a, a lovely enclosed space like this. So we're looking forward to many, many things along this. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. What do we say? Thank you, Astronomy. There's a bigger conception for this. We're trying to connect the crest and the arts of wood. So we're going to, in a future iteration of this, make an arts dimension to it, as well as a science dimension to it. Mm. Have a project where you do the two things and get two awards. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's really and this one, no one's really done this before, so this is the beginning of that. Okay, thank you, wonderful teachers. Please uh, welcome. Thank you for coming and attending our planetarium here at the Chestnut Community Centre. Please introduce yourselves. Tell us about your school and your, yourselves and your class and how you found our planetarium this morning. I'm called Miss Dos Santos. I work at St. Anne's Primary School as a teaching assistant. It was very interactive, very interesting, and well worth visiting. Oh, thank you. Catherine Adusi, parent governor at St. Anne's Primary School, came to see the. I think the first thing I can say is visually you have an impact. When you see what it looks like, how it looks, you don't think about anything else. The fact that it's a dome laid out of cardboard is just visually impacting. And then you go inside and you watch the whole presentation and it's just totally different. And it's a really good thing. Thank you, thank you. Sir, can you introduce yourself and tell us how you found our, our planetarium? Yeah, I'm Sean, I'm a year four teacher. Um, I thought it was, a, it was excellent, not knowing what to expect. Uh, it was a real, multi-sensory experience for the kids. There was a not knowing before they got in and then climbing it through the little passage. And then it had so much more impact than just a video because of the atmosphere. So all their senses were stimulated and they were fully engaged the whole time. They really enjoyed it and so did I. Excellent, thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. These are completely one. Perfect. 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 All right. thank you. No problem, thanks again. Yeah. I hope you can visit the school. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, we'll yeah. yeah. speak to the head of the school. It is home time. Um, and so, thank you for attending. I hope you got a nice flavour. Did you like that? I love yes. that. What do you say, by the Thank you. And you're very welcome. Well, before you go, though, can I ask you just what do you think about what you saw? I was scared. Mm. It's very atmospheric, isn't it? It was like you're in a I was like, 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 I was like,
That's right. It's very immersive. This is why we made... Okay, children, one moment. I know you're going to be going very soon. But this is why we made this dome. It's, it's very atmospheric when you're inside it. So I'm glad you've had an experience of it. I hope you can do it again. And we've got a lot more events and programs coming up. We've got one on Sunday where we keep this dome. And we'll be going through other programs as well. So if you're around on Sundays of, of out of school, but you can come. And hopefully you can come to your school as well. We do workshops around music and math and science as well so uh, thank you very much if you want to just um, yeah that's it have thank fun thank you okay it. remember same as you came in it will just be one at a time let me come out to open hi my name is Lisa Marie and I've come along to uh, this planetarium project not knowing much about it but I'm really really impressed with it um, I have a two-year-old, so it was, you know, running around a bit, but the actual show itself was amazing. Um, I was able to hear another, another um, uh, way of seeing what is out there, mm -hmm. you know, on a deeper level, which really was interesting. That's actually made me more interested in um, coming forward more with my children with this as well. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Oh, there's the dome is amazing. Yeah, it's a, a geodesic dome. And for us, this was part of making this as part of the project, well as showing, having a show inside the actual engineering idea of this. It's important as well, just for the children to be part of that, to see it happening, or yes. to enter it and realize the structure made of uh -huh. that could be as complicated as that is. Um, well, it's very mathematical as well, isn't mm, it? That's right. My name as well. Yeah, my name is Mauricio Arsniegas. Um, we was something new, something interesting. Oh, because we got can 3D. Mm. Uh, it's something handmade at the same time. The planetarium mm. is something amazing. You know, it's something to valorate. You can valorate much. Um, being um, it's small, but at the same time it's big. You no, know? it's mm. small planetarium, mm. handmade, uh, recycled. Mm. It's We've got a lot to valorate. At the same time, it's, it's huge. Mm. Um, it's annoying. It's annoying. Like a, a new way to see the about the space, and mm. so I found it very interesting. Okay, thank you, thank you. It's, it's an interesting point because I didn't. I, I wouldn't have put it in those words, but it's, it's it's poignant you say that because I mean the structure is reasonably large. It can fit 30 yeah. people in there, uh -huh. um, but it's relatively small. But at the same time, we're looking at the whole of the cosmos uh -huh. from inside the small well, it's kind of kind of kind of Yeah, it's, it's very profound. Right? It's very profound. Thank you for sharing okay. the time. Yeah. We're trying. What we're doing here is bringing culture into science. We're respecting culture. We're respecting where people come from in science. Because uh, the narration you heard, I was doing the narration for mm -hmm. this, uh, but the video, someone else made that video. Yeah. So we took the narration out and put in a new narration to it because the previous narration had all the information in it, yeah. but a lot of um, Greek and Roman mythology wrapped into it, and a certain kind of uh, philosophical position which they wrapped the science in. Uh -huh. So yeah. it, sometimes people, because everyone, all scientists tend to be doing the same talk, yeah. the same cultural reference point, everyone thinks that this is the only way to speak about it. Like that. So we're trying to bring other ways to speak about it. And we're interested more, like more, more natural more, more natural more, more and, natural. and, and a ways that people from all different cultures would feel at home with it yeah. rather than you have to come through one culture yeah so that's the idea we're trying to broaden it out make the thing more um, user friendly to all parents and all, no. all mm -hmm. people yeah that's it cool anyway well, thank you okay. thank you for, okay. for sharing right. time thank you for coming to visit Amastamari Amastamari yeah Amastamari Amastamari yeah Nice to meet you. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please, thank you for having us here at High View. Please introduce yourself and tell us how you found our Abundance Workshop today. So, my name is Mr. Sumville. I'm the Year 6 teacher. Um, I found it really interesting how the children were engaged by the sur surrealism 
of the dance incorporated with the maths and the science of it all. I thought it was great. It's linked into our curriculum that we studied last week um, with the mirror and reflection and the translation, the vocabulary used was really, really good. Um, and they were just um, totally engaged by it. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Have you, have you seen anything like this before? I can't say I have. No, it's a first for me. Um, and it was really interesting to see your approach um, and engage them and the, um, the level, because well, obviously I saw all the year groups kind of doing it, mm -hmm. and it was quite interesting the level of depth that you went in from, from year six to year two, uh, to year one, sorry, the one before us. Um, yeah, it was really interesting. Okay, so. good, thanks. Well, we, we find that it's, it is, there is an ability to go very deep, mm. to build up in the right way, and the arts allow that, so we're very keen to promote that, that STEAM idea. And uh, well done to the school for having us here, you know, for, for being that way inclined to see the unity of things like this. And um, well, I hope we can visit again. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. No worries. Thank you. Having a fitness school, yes. please introduce yourself and tell us how you found our workshop. Gosh, well, I didn't, that, I didn't even know about your workshop. I'm sorry. That was uh, the head teacher who did everything. Okay. But um, I'm Alba, the music teacher. I just come one day a week, so I was very lucky to see you today. And I think the children really enjoy it. And some children that they find issues with their behavior, they were really enjoying and participating. And they found the connection between the science and the music and the dancing, mm -hmm. which was very interesting. And I particularly enjoyed the dancing. Mm -hmm. I thought it was beautiful, all the movements and and their, their children were really engaged. Okay, okay. no worries. <laughs>